We were all raised by different parents, a parent, different values and different morals. And as you grow and as you get older, you go through life experiences and life changes. You meet different people, you hang in different groups. That's gonna also influence you to become the person that you are today. All that together makes you who you are. Every single one of us looks at life differently and we think differently because of it. I have my own opinion. Comment below, let me know what you think. Don't have to match my opinion, I like to read others' views. If you have an opinion about this, please comment below because I would like to hear it. Let me know what you think. If you don't agree with me, it's okay. Argue with me, I'm down with it. I'm down to read all those comments. Comment below, let me know. A am I wrong for feeling the way I'm feeling right now? Because look at my ears are still red talking about it. Comment below, let me know. Let me know what you believe. You don't have to agree with me. That's not the point of this channel. I want to hear everyone's opinions. Different or not, comment below. I watched a video by David Dobrik. I have never seen that channel in my life. I've heard of David Dobrik, and I heard many positive and good things about him. The only one that doesn't say good things about him is Trisha Paytas, but you know, she's a troll. It is what it is. I have my own opinion, and I don't go off of others. You may disagree, you may agree. Regardless of it all, I'm going to say what I wanna say. And apparently, a lot of people did not like what I had to say about that video. <laughs> and I knew this was gonna happen, opening up a ch uh, reaction channel, I knew some people were gonna have an issue with what I had to say. I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try to see a video that I've never seen before. And I'm like, you know what? This guy is such a big deal. Let me watch him. Let me see a video and see what happens. And this was the most recent video. And I still mean everything that I said. Everything, every single thing. Because I'm going off of first impression. Never once did I say that his channel sucks because I, I don't see him, I don't watch him. I'm going off of one video. I knew that there's gonna be some videos that people are not gonna like, and this was one of them. When a video has more dislikes than likes, I have to face it. I have to face it and I have to react to my viewers' comments because they matter. This is why I came up with a segment called Viewer Uncensored. You think I'm the only one that got no filter? Oh no, 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 no. You guys ain't got no filter neither. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna react and respond to what your opinions are. But before I do, let me take a sip of my coffee. On my video of the real reason why David Dobrik has 14 million subscribers, I have 18 dislikes and nine likes. Double dislikes, okay? Double the numbers. So we're gonna go ahead and read the first comment that I have here. In quotations, you are not uniquely creating your own content. Meanwhile, own channel is filled with reaction videos. <laughs> Oops. Okay. People have problems with reaction channels because we are using other content on our videos. Basically just playing it and just reacting to it. There's no content in that. I completely understand. I completely get it. But people watch. And people watch my channel. It hasn't been up for that long. Including you, Michelle, Raj. <laughs> you watched my video. So something about it you were interested in knowing that it was a reaction video, you still watched it. So thank you for watching and thank you for commenting. I appreciate it. As a viewer to other reaction channels, I watch reaction channels because of their personality, the way they view things, their opinions, the things that come out of their mouth is entertaining. And that's why I watch. People tend to like my channel, so I might be doing something right here. Not only that, but after reacting to this video, and getting as many dislikes as I did, I thought maybe I'd lose subscribers. As a matter of fact, I gained a few. Next comment. In quotations, I watched Trisha. Oops, I already knew your opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think you had a bias coming in. And that person also has seven likes. And yeah, you are wrong. <laughs> and let me tell you why. I watched Trisha because she is entertaining and full of drama. And those are the best YouTubers to react to. And if you watch my channel on a regular, I don't know if you're subscribed or not, but I actually, not too long ago, reacted to one of her videos. 
and that video is called Trisha Paytas claims to be transgender and offends the and offends the LGBTQ community. I was really pissed off when I saw that video. I'm against a lot of the things that she says in general, but it's entertaining and I'm here to react to videos like that. And she's the only YouTuber that I know that does talk negatively about him. So if anything, I came in with a positive mindset. But at the same time, I don't like to follow vlog channels where they're in groups because it's distracting. They all have their cameras filming each other and it's just, I just don't like that type of vibe. That's why I never got to see David Dobrik's videos. But I gave it a chance. And honestly, it's just not my thing. If I ain't feeling it, I ain't feeling it. Next comment. First off, the reason you don't understand the jokes is because they're jokes based off of previous situations that you wouldn't understand watching one video. And that's a fact. I completely agree with that. Second, how can you form an opinion only watching one video? Because that's human nature. <laughs> okay. That's human nature. We all have an opinion right away. Some people may speak on it. Some people might take the time to see things, to see things out first before they speak their opinion. But we all have it and we all do it. Gotta watch multiple videos. I completely agree with that. But if I don't like what I see, I, and if I'm not interested, I'm not going to. Third, you say you don't like unoriginal content, yet you're doing reaction videos. Now let me tell you something about my channel. Yes, it's a reaction channel, but my reaction channel is a little bit different than others. I started this channel, Bliss Uncensored, because something happened to me in high school, and it changed my life forever. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click onto that, and that will explain everything on why I started this channel. Check out my trailer. To do something different. This channel is based on having no filter. Always speak your mind. This is my logo. Always speak your mind. The duct tape is everything. You see this bag? Full of duct tape. So many people in this country and in other countries do not speak their mind because they're afraid of being judged. They're afraid of consequence. Your voice is worth something. Your voice will always influence at least one person in a good way. I want you to speak your mind. I want your opinions. These, are, these comments that I'm reading, I love this. I can't just be having a conversation with my damn self. Let me go on with the comment. If you watch Trisha Paytas videos and find those more entertaining than David Dobrik, vids, I don't know what kind of humor you enjoy. Not hating, just stating the obvious. Everyone has a different type of sense of humor. And I think Trisha can be funny. <laughs> and from what I saw with David, I didn't find nothing funny at all. I'm sorry, but I didn't. I found it very immature. A lot of the jokes are for a younger crowd and you can tell that he has a younger audience because of that. You'll make more money if your audience are young kids because parents will do anything to make their kids happy and will buy them all their merch. They don't gotta work for it, you know what I'm saying? Let's look at my analytics. Am I pronouncing it right by the way? I don't know. In the last 28 days, I gained 94% subscribers in female over male. 80% come from the United States. Most of my audience is between the ages of 25 to 34. You have some 18 to 24 and some 35 to 44. That is my main audience right there. 
not so much younger kids. This is exactly what I want. I love to have young adults and grown adults watching me. David Dobrik's audience are kids, but I find it very interesting that in his video, he has a porn star in the truck smoking. There ain't nothing wrong with the smoking because I smoke too, you know what I'm saying? Not the weed, by the way, CBD. And they're talking about fucking, and his audience are kids. And I can't blame the influencer neither, okay? He's creating content. It's up to the parents to allow their kids to watch him or not. Ain't my business. So yes, my sense of humor is different. There's Trisha and there's David. Trisha talks about grown stuff and adult things that kids should not be watching, okay? Next comment, at one minute and 21 seconds, best description for your channel. And what they're talking about is about the, that comment that I said about you are not uniquely creating your own content. So most of these people are saying all this without actually watching my channel. So what they're accusing me of doing, which is having an opinion and going off of one video instead of the whole channel, is what they're doing right now to me. <laughs> they're going off of this video and didn't even go through my channel. This notebook right here has all my ideas for this channel and I haven't done them all because there's a time and a place for it. I also have story time on my channel. That's where the duct tape comes in. I'm gonna unmask and say with detail and unfilter stories that has happened in my life. And there was a story about a stripper and if you wanna watch that video, if you're interested, you can go ahead and click onto that. Very interesting, you might like it. Not only that, but in my little notebook, well, it's actually it's pretty big, it's bigger than my face. In my notebook, there's gonna be a segment called Stud Conscious. Stud Conscious, where I am going to sit down with a friend of mine. She's a stud herself, and we're gonna talk about some things that might stimulate your mind a little bit, and we're gonna have conversations on camera, unfilter, and have grown conversations. Stud Conscious. Don't forget that, that will be coming soon. And another thing in my big red notebook is I'm going to be playing games with my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe because you might want to play these games. This game is called Guess That Artist. I was influenced by a video that I watched recently. It was about a father and a daughter watching a music video on Bone Thugs and Harmony, a 90s hip hop group. And that gave me an idea. So I'm gonna be playing Guess That Artist with all of you, and this is gonna be from different eras, okay? We're gonna go from the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. Shit, Motown's gotta be up in there too, you know? Next comment. She is actually a, one of my biggest supporters. She's been around from the very beginning. Ashley Bautista. She says, I never heard of him till today, lol. It's all right, not my cup of tea. To each its own, you know what I'm saying? You like it or you don't, but that's her opinion. Next comment. I like him when he was with Zoe. They had a YouTube channel together till they broke up. He was funnier than, he was funnier with her. I think she meant Liza. All right, next comment. At 5.50, the joke is because Natalie is sitting next to Zane and everyone knows he has a huge crush on her. Drinking and driving is no joke. Thanks for sharing your story. I think a lot of the jokes are funny because you know the characters and their dynamics. If you don't know them, it doesn't really hit the same. I like that. I like what they said right there. And that's true. Maybe I didn't understand the jokes because they're inside jokes. You'll only understand it if you watch them. And since I don't watch them, I didn't understand what was so funny. That could have been it. I like that. Next comment, watch the videos with him and Josh Peck and the old videos with him and Liza. Those are pretty entertaining. The only video that I've seen with David Dobrik in it was that breakup video with Liza. And I thought they were both funny. That breakup video was hilarious. I'm like, they're breaking up and they're telling the public and they're funny. <laughs> they were funny together. So that whole video actually made me laugh. It was entertaining and it was sad too. I felt bad for them because they love each other, you know? It all depends on who you're with too and who you're filming with. Next comment. Wow, so original. Here we go. Let me, take, let me take a sip real quick. Hold on, hold on. And can you tell that my face is red? It's these damn lights. They're burning my face. Okay. Wow, so original of you to make a video about the most successful vlogger in order to gain views. I've been doing the vlogging channel for two years and we're still not monetized. We obviously are not doing it for the views or the money. We enjoy doing it. Let's move on to the comment. He can simply not be your thing. There's not, need, there's not a need for a video about it, but he has 14.3 million others cup of tea, so. 
I completely agree. We're not all gonna like the same YouTubers. That's crazy if we do. That makes no sense if we do. This is me reacting to a video. This is not me telling people to stop watching him. Everyone's got their own choices to make. Mine, I saw the video, I gave it a chance, not interested, not my thing. Not my cup of tea. You watch Trisha, one of the biggest train wrecks on the platform, and everyone knows it. I think that almost invalidates your opinion on what's good or entertaining on YouTube. <laughs> what? I'm a little bit confused with that. She is a big train wreck, 100%, I agree. But uh, my opinion matters, and so does yours. And I'm gonna keep stating my opinion. Next comment. I've heard of him and I've even given one video a chance just to see. And Bliss, let me tell you, I'm right there with you. To each its own. I don't, I don't hate him slash them. Just not my thing. Bam. And then Anna Nas says, just saying, I felt the same but watched more than one and saw different aspects of his vlogs. But yeah, to each their own. 100%. If I keep watching his videos, I might like it. I just might. Some people have to grow on you. Just like music, you hear a song for the first time, you're not feeling it. But the more you hear, it's like, okay. That's how I am with music. And this one says, it's not fake, it's scripted like all shows. Well, I don't know what you meant by shows, but do you mean by TV shows? Because YouTube is different. There's a lot of YouTubers that are scripting. So you might be a supporter of his. So if you're, letting, if you're telling me that his vlogs are scripted, now it makes sense. It makes sense why it looked so fake. When they were laughing hysterically to something that's not even that funny. It's because it's scripted and they're trying to make it be more than what it is. So I was right, it's phony. <laughs> it's fake. Scripted is fake. Fake, scripted. All in the same. All right, I think that's it for the comments. Tell me what you thought about this video. I will be doing this every now and then whenever there's more dislikes than likes. This is what I'm going to be calling it, viewer uncensored. We all gotta take off that duct tape and speak our minds. Please keep commenting, I love reading them. I actually read every single one of them. And if I don't comment, it's because there's I got so much going on but I do read every single one of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please, please y'all turn on your notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.